Paul Gallon decked out in the uh, red trunks and in the blue is uh, Hicka Elliott from Team Rugby. Let's see how it goes here in the early going. Hicka kind of moving around with some strange movements, but boy, he looks like a fighter in there. And he also looks 100% confident and comfortable. Sneaky right hand over the top that time. Gallon, we know, is a hard guy. Let's see if he's going to open up at all here soon. Here he goes to the body. Good body shot. Here we go. Here we go. Hicka doesn't like being hit, but he's taking these shots. Look at Gallon well in the way. I told you, he's going to be the battle of the big bangers. Well, all right hands. Hicka Elliott showing some of that on orthodoxy, probably from a karate background. Needs to see his feet a little bit more. Gallon has no problem. Left uppercut, right uppercut, left top right hand. Gallon back on the inside. He's on the assault, being tied up by Hicka. Hicka knows what he's doing in the ring. It amazes me that these uh, athletes from other sports are as well schooled as they are and know exactly what to do in there. Tying him up when a guy's coming on like that is what you're supposed to do or get out of there. Hicka now looking to throw his big right hand. He throws it right there, but it uh, kind of slides by the tummy of uh, a Gallon. Gallon on the assault. He wants to come in very awkward, throwing wild shots. And when he gets inside, he goes to the body, back upstairs, comes with the uppercut. Gallon landing more punches right now than is Hicka Elliott. Being trained by Mark Gavin out of Costa Zoo's gym in Rockdale. So he's uh, come here to rock the all-black hooker. Doesn't want to take too many of those body shots, does Elliott, because one of those could compress the ribs, and that can end a fight pretty quickly. Just got to be cautious when he's coming out of the clutch. Just there, he gets caught by those winging shots and another overhand right. And followed by a real good uppercut by Gallon. Gallon's winning this round, believe it or not, folks. Good straight left turn. Of course, he may have that martial art experience, but it's all difference in the boxing because he sometimes you put your weight too much on your back, but you got to come forward. The balance is altogether different, as you well know, uh, Mike, and, and so it's causing a few problems, perhaps for Hicka. But Gallon is just a hard guy. The balance is Gallon's And you can piece two up right onto the back foot. Yeah, well, hitting just coming off the break or the clinch, if you're upright there, you can hit by that slow shot. Really good work there from Gallon. Note, he does that Tyson S. Right hand body shot, right uppercut. That's inside, clean the blows and many more of them. So here we go with round number two from Auckland, New Zealand. Glad that you can be with us wherever you're watching across the country or across the Australia. Nice little leaping left hook, right hand. Still not putting a lot of acid on it, though. Picka Elliott landed a good right hand that time. Hicka is in the blue, representing rugby. There's a shot by Gallon that lands back inside with the tackle, but decided to come up with a right hand shot upstairs. That's a nice left hook by Hicka. That was the best up, punch. Though. No, that's a problem. Didn't back it up. That's a problem. He kind of admired it. He's missing as many as he's landing. Gallon's got some nice movement. He's moving the head up and down. Uh, his training has been excellent for this fight. This is a good show for him. And a good punch and two good combinations. There's the uppercut again by Gallon. Gallon really controlling the boxing aspect of this. You see the time remaining in this round. I think Elliot's got to stop trying to be a boxer now. He's got to find that mongrel inside him because he has to fight back to Just keep Gallon off him. Just yeah. got to fight. Yeah, it, 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 exactly right. You're so right, Brownie. Just use the shoulder, come in on him, throw right hands, look at the right hands. There's a nice left hand shot by Gallon again that lands upstairs. Hicker trying to jab, but he doesn't want to jab. He should just throw the right hands now and try to catch Gallon and try to drop him. He must get respect, otherwise Gallon's just going to walk through those lighter shots. He needs to plant his feet. Does Hicker Elliott, otherwise Gallon's just going to keep coming forward with those unorthodox winging shots. Good body shot there. Oh, swinging left arm misses. That's strike one anyway. Back with the left hook comes uh, Gallon. Now you notice when uh, Elliott comes in and throws his shot, he drops his left shoulder, drops his left hand. If Gallon were truly a trained professional fighter, he'd pick that up immediately. See the left hand? He comes in, and he's wide open for right-hand counterpunch. Instead, Elliott's doing what I think he should continue to do. Just keep loading up right hands and try to catch this powerful Paul Gallon. Yeah, Gallon there for the right hook, and he throws it. Hard to separate that round, though, but certainly Gallon looked to have landed the cleanest shot as we go to the... So, therefore, Hicker Elliott's got a lot of work to do in this last round. You can see he has been... Bullied by the Aussie, pushed around in the ring, landing more body shots, good uppercut, Gallon.
Gallon's a guts. So now you need a knockout here for the man in blue from Rugby Union. Don't I mean, Gallon, Gallon, yes, you do. Gallon looks like a fighter to me, and Hicka looks like a great uh, All Black who's, uh, you know, hasn't learned to fight as well as Gallon has. Hicka's super tough in there. He can take a shot, but he needs to at least drop him uh, in order to win this fight or at least uh, get back into it. Gallon's out in front. Bite down on that mouth guard and start throwing punches with bad intentions. The corporate sponsor, round number three, Sky City. This is the third and final round. Paul Gallon in red. We have him out in front. I think he's won two rounds. Hicka Elliott has got to do something very, very strong here to crawl back in the fight and get him on the middle. Nothing to do with that. Nice stiff jab. Almost jumped into his jab. Then he comes in and he's following up punches. You know, even when he misses, Hicka's not following up. He throws one punch at a time, and Gallon has got him time. That time he tried to throw a second punch, but he missed both of them. Stiff jab by Gallon. I gotta say, you don't throw clean uppercuts like that and Bob and Weave by accident. He's done his work in the gym, although limited, he's doing what he does and doing it well. He knows you can basically back him for part of this round. Now, both of these guys are gassed, but you know by the fact of who these men are, they're not gonna take any part of the nice shot. Big shot. The uppercut, the left hand is a power shot. Hicker trying to land something, but his punches are smothered. On the inside, it's all Paul Gallon. Gallon making a real, real show here against a very hard man. Again, the right hand lands. Hicker comes back with a light left hook, which kind of spins ahead a little bit of Gallon, but it doesn't hurt him at all. Nice uppercut right behind the jab. And the difference in this fight is that Gallon has a jab, yep. Elliot doesn't. Gallon throws his punches and bunches. There it is, picking up points all the time too. Oh, and that's the it up. story of the fight too. He really found a home with that uppercut. There's a left hook that landed as Hicker Elliott walked away. He's gassed, but Gallon is the one who's gritting down on his mouth guard and coming forward, not Hicker Elliott who needs it. Well, I'll tell you, Gallon's a little gas as well. These guys aren't leaving much on their shields as they go out with 15 seconds to go. They're both fighting hard, right to the belt. Great professional athletes, and Gallon has shown he can box. Hick has had a tough time against this guy. Lunges at him, misses the uppercut. Catches him in the left hook. Wow, with a left hook. Back comes Elliott at the belt. the shot out in this one. I absolutely agree. I've got to say, Hicker Elliott, what a set of whiskers in there. There's a touch of granite in the content. He took some big shots. Uh, he's, got, he's got a job, granite, for sure. A but he did achieve his man. goal. He did achieve his goal. He didn't get knocked out. He How wanted to try that? and knock him out, but Gallant, that's the reason why he is a hard man. When it comes to the state of boxing, he certainly showed a good performance tonight. We'll take a break. Be back with the call from the judges in just a moment. And doing it in a positive way. Fight is to set your ring, please. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, that was a war. Make some noise to these boys. What do you say? After three rounds of heavyweight boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards, where we find a unanimous decision winner. Your winner, fighting out of the red corner, Paul Gallagher. Well, so far the league is making a mockery of uh, Team Rugby. We'll see what happens in the later fights. A lot more action coming up. So it started off even from the get-go, but it was Paul Gallon with those body shots. Barrage set up by a very good left hook. Some good basic boxing here. And he really got stuck into Hicker Elliott right from the first round. Landed more of those heavier punches. Remember these two heavyweights, over 100 kilos. So there's plenty of sting behind those blows. Hicker Elliott struggling to find the range and really land some effective knockouts. Always on the back foot. He, we expected him to try and dominate, but there's those uppercuts from Gallon set up by that good jab once again. Nice head movement shown there as well. You don't do that by accident. He's done his drills and done them well. Trained out across his gym in Rockdale, and he rocked the hooker tonight. So they'll both be relieved that, that it's over, and they can sit back and relax. So good skills from both boxers tonight. Let's get some... It was going to be the pride of the league, lead, lead, 3-0. What's tougher, 80 minutes of origin or fighting Hicker Elliott? I've got to say, that was one of the toughest things I've ever done. Um, you know, I'm accustomed to playing rugby league. I've been doing it since I've been a kid. And, you know, I guess I'm 
more than confident going in and playing 80 minutes, but this is the first time I've done this, and I've got to admit, my legs were gone after round one. It was really hard. What is the, what is the toughest thing about getting into a ring? Oh, you're here on your own. The bloke over there is pretty big, and uh, yeah, I guess you just don't want to get hit, and uh, you know, we, we both really tried tonight, and I was just lucky to get a win. Good for pre-season? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Um, I'm having surgery on my elbow this Thursday for a quick clean-out, and um, yeah, but I'll be 100% come January. Congratulations, mate. Leaguey's up 3-0. Thank you. All right, Hicker Elliott, come here. Come here. Well done, my friend. Thanks, what was it like facing arguably the toughest man in rugby league? Oh, it's pretty tough, mate. You know, we come out here with the intention to box, so hopefully we gave the crowd what they wanted. Disappointed? You're always disappointed, mate. We, we're competitive to people. We hate to lose. I know, it's, I know it's for charity, but everybody hates to lose, don't we? <laughs> yes, we do. Tell me about it. Tell me, what was the plan coming in to try and sort of stop him? Oh, you know, I just had to box, and he, he, he applied a lot of pressure, so full credit to him. He got the win. And pre-season looks good for Hicker Elliott? Yeah, I think so. I think I get back to the rugby, so leave the boxing line. You didn't disgrace yourself. Well done, Hicker. Cheers. Thanks, mate.